ही थिंक दैट लाइफ इज गोइंग टू बी सो बोरिंग इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल इट इज द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव इट इज द मोस्ट हैकी वे ऑफ सर्वाइविंग जॉब्स एंड एक्चुअली थ्राइविंग इन योर जॉब्स रनिंग अ वेंचर एंड एक्चुअली लर्निंग हाउ टू ट्रेड बिकॉज यू डील विद प्रिटी मच विद नंबर्स एंड ऑन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग अ लाइव डेमो ऑफ बाय यूजिंग फाइव एक्सेल फंक्शंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल आई एम ऑन अ चाई ब्रेक वेन एवर आई एम ऑन अ चाई ब्रेक विद ऑल ऑफ यू I share really cool videos around management consulting around skills and career and of course whenever I am on a travel as well so feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button so that you are notified whenever I am making out really cool videos for all of you 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and watch till the end if you want to know all the five hacks i'm going to be sharing certain shortcuts of excel that i have been using very often as a management consultant and as someone who uses excel almost on a daily basis till date as an entrepreneur and if you want me to make another video around this for more excel function feel free to let me know in the chat uh, box so that uh, i definitely get to know that you want me to make this video in fact this video is also a popular requested video on one of my videos most of you had commented that you want me to make a video on excel so this is me responding to all of you and thanks once again for all the love that you shower me with and this is my way of giving back to all of you so let's get started somewhere on my screen we will start sharing the excel that we have it's a sample excel that uh, i got downloaded from internet for all of you with that let's get started so first and foremost whenever you deal with excel you have to learn how to read data well trust me even this data is new for me so i am going to be learning to read data well most of the times people get intimidated with data with numbers because they don't know the meaning of that data or they don't know the meaning of that number so i am going to be teaching all of you how to use these five functions but first and foremost this is of course a very over simplified data because i don't want to intimidate any one of you by dealing with big numbers or big databases because the objective is to learn first and in the entire sequence we'll go by pivot we'll then do we look up there is sum if there is average and sum and then there is simple inserting rows and columns through shortcuts as well with excel this is just the tip of the iceberg there are so many more things that you can do but if i were to do an 80 20 most of the times you will end up using these but if you have more if you want to learn more feel free to let me know in the comment section so first and foremost let's understand what's really happening with this data i see order date and these are dates okay there is region so i see central i see west i see east okay then there is rep i perhaps think there is some sales rep who is trying to sell something and they are mapped by region so there is smith there is kevel there is jill uh, andrews etc there are items that i see here desk pencil binder seems like stationary items for me so seems like they are selling something or perhaps consuming but mostly it seems like they are selling something and then there are units units sold perhaps and the cost of each unit and then there is a total seems like a simple multiplication and that's what they have done you can easily see here all right so what is it that we are going to do first and foremost many of the times you want to understand for example that for all desk items right for all desk items within this item what was the total cost of the units right total cost of the units so what i will do is i will select this entire sheet or entire data how did i do so i did control a control plus a that's the shortcut another way of doing is i go here i am using my mouse to go till the down which is so boring and so tedious there are just 44 rows here but imagine if there are 55000 rows here how would you do that so you do control a all right so once again i do control a i do alt i do n i do v and i do t this is for pivots all right alt n v t 
Let me do this again for you if this was fast. Alt, actually you can see all of these letters also coming here. I know that pivot is actually sitting in insert function. Insert is for N, so I do N and then I see pivot on the bot top left, so I do V and then I, I have to take it from the table and range, so I do T, all right? And then it says table range, it's the selected order that I had already done as control A. I click on OK, all right? This is my pivot sheet three. I call it pivot for all of you. So then you can clearly see it says drop report filter fields here, drop column fields here, drop row fields here. Let's say I wanted to find out, you see this pivot field is going, is getting hidden. So if I want it back, I'm clicking here. Let's say the question that is for me as a manager that Shatakshi, I want to know what was the total cost for desks as an item. So I see that D is the item. So what I'll do is I'll go to item and I'll drop it in the filter here. All right. Do you see it coming here? And then I will select multiple items and I will just select desk because that is what I wanted to know. And then what I will do is I will pick up total because I wanted to know the amount of it and I will put it here which is in the sigma values, all right? Now, this shows me the total, which is 1700, all right, 1700. And you can do this for very interesting other questions as well. So what if I want to know how much did Smith really sell desks for what, uh, what amount of total cost, right? So what I will do is I will go to sales rep and I will drop them in rows, all right? And I know Smith actually sold desks worth 250 and Kevil sold for 625 and Sorvino sold for 825. And imagine someone asks you about, about Jill. Guess Jill didn't sell any desks at all. So that is the benefit of Pivot that you can find. It's kind of actually some if, a much more easier way of doing some if, right? So what I'm doing is I'm doing a sum if the item is desk and if the rep is Kevil, and I can select from here as well. Let's say I just wanted to check for Smith, Kevil, Kevil is here. So 625, right? So that's number one function for all of you. Stay tuned till the end. Grab your chai, grab your coffee and sip with me. I'm a huge chai fan. A lot of you have been saying, Shatakshi, you don't have chai. I always have it. I don't bring it for all of you, I bring it for myself, so I enjoy it. Which brings us towards VLOOKUP. Let me build a case for VLOOKUP. Now, imagine that you have one data set which has order date and rep, and you have another data set on which you have order date but item. What you would like to do to solve a problem is to match the rep to the item. How can you do that? Ta-da, VLOOKUP formula. The VLOOKUP formula eventually helps you with a commonality because we see that order date is the common item. We will be able to map the rep to the item. So what I do is I VLOOKUP item on the sheet and I type VLOOKUP, go to select, go to order date, which is the first common column, type a comma, go to sheet two, take the entire range of data, order date and item, and type two, why two? Because the column that I want to fetch is second in reference to the common column, and I type zero, which is the approximate match, and I close the function. And you now get the rep mapped to the item as well. Pretty unique, right? And pretty kick-ass, I know. The VLOOKUP formula could be pretty interesting that way. So that helps us cover the VLOOKUP. Now, if you were to do sum if as well, sum if, sum if is another one of my favorite Excel formulas. Let me do it right in front of you. So you eventually type sum if, and you want to say that for the item column, which is the range, you want to check for binder, and if the criteria is two, true, then you want to sum the total, all right, which is the G column, I repeat. 
what is sum if doing sum and if right if the condition that item equal to equal to is binder then it will give you the sum for the total column which is the g column and i press enter what does this mean that this eventually means that the total cost for all the item binders sold is 9577 rupees so that's your third formula you can combine multiple conditions as well you can apply an and function as well so you can do uh, if item equal to equal to binder and rep equal to equal to kevel you could get these answers as well once again Pivot table also helps you with such answers as we just saw in step number one. Which brings us towards simple formulas now, which is average and sum. A lot of people who are just starting their careers are not comfortable with them. So this is sum if and this is average, right? Pretty basic, but still needed for a lot of people. Now I want to see eventually what is the average unit cost, all right? For all these items, I want to see the average unit cost. What I will do is I will type average and we will select the entire item and you will get the average unit cost. So you now know that the average unit cost across desk, pencil, binders, pencil set is 20.31, right? And if you want to see sum of the entire unit cost, sum of the entire unit cost. So if the desk is for 125, pencil is for 1.29 and binder is for 4.99 for the entire basket in which there is one pen one desk not one but all of these what will be the sum right or interestingly we should do a sum of units not sum on cost that is more practical problem to solve how many units were solved so you will apply the sum function here not sum if you will apply the sum function which is you type sum here you select the entire range, you close the bracket, and this is sum for you. So we are done with these four, and we now move to the last one, which is inserting rows and columns. Now imagine you wanted to apply VLOOKUP in one of these rows uh, or one of these columns. You select the entire column. I'm not using my mouse. I'll do this again. You select the entire column, and I used control space key i am now pressing shift plus control and i did a plus all right so i'll do this again i did control z for selecting a column you do control space you do shift control plus all right and if you want to delete it you do shift control my no you will have to wait a sec you will have to do control minus yes control minus all of this has become so much second nature that now teaching all of this is becoming uh pretty unique experience for me and now imagine if you were to add one more data in this row so you do shift control this time for selecting a row shift control and you do shift control plus wait a sec it is not allowing me to change the array which is pretty new it should not allow me to insert as well yes so there is this problem with this database they have the kind of download file that i made they're not allowing us to make any data change in it let me try here it should work ideally here yes it worked so let me control z i wanted to add another row in it so i did shift con shift space plus and control minus is deleting the row so with that we are done with the final uh, five functions on Excel. Like I said, let me know if you want new version of this Excel 2.0. So, all right, that's it from my side. And if you need more help to actually learn advanced data analytics, combine it with emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, IoT, accompanied with business and public policy, then feel free to check out my education venture, Global Governance Initiative, Impact MBA Scholar Program. And if you like this video, feel free to hit on the like button and share it with your friends so that they get to know about all the cool, interesting insights I'm bringing out for all of you through this channel. Ciao, ciao. I'll see you very much soon.